What's up, people? Last chance to excel here in the weekly challenge with the robots. I am ready for redemption after a kind of uh, topsy-turvy last set. Uh, we we were a little bit... Um, uh, well, I was really bad on one board, and then I kind of made a weird bet on the last board and, and gained some match points back. So we, we hope we're in the hunt for a win. We have three boards left to prove our, our medal here. And we see right-hand opponent open one spade. Make your call, folks. What are you going to do with my hand? What would you do if you were playing this tournament? Did you play this tournament? Tell me what happens. <laughs> All right. The If I flip-flop clubs with hearts, if I had five hearts, four clubs, and three diamonds, I would overcall two hearts. Um, in this situation, it's a clear-cut double, right? We want to bring all of our suits in, especially the fact that we have four hearts. And we certainly have enough points to be bidding. Partner makes a free call of three diamonds. That's six to ten points. Uh, we don't quite have enough to be bidding here. Um, we, we should expect partner to usually have five diamonds here, but they don't guarantee that. Um, I don't expect to have any sort of game here with the way the auction is going. And we know left-hand opponent has has some hearts. Right-hand opponent has some spades. Sounds like a, maybe a misfit for them. Maybe we're finding a good plus score. But let's see if West bids. They don't. All right. Three diamonds it is. And there we go. Uh, very important not to get terribly excited when partner makes a free bid. Remember, you already doubled, right? So partner doesn't have some amazing shakes over there usually. They're just uh, bidding a lot of their shape and some of their points. There we go, king to the ace. Make sure you play the king there, folks. You have to get that ace off the board. And now they're leading clubs. That's uh, You might say, oh, that's awesome. No, nah, not really. <laughs> Here I want to see the jack of diamonds, so I'm playing the 10 or the ace. That's fine. Here comes a club rough maybe or just, okay, they're clearing out a spade. Fine with us. And there we go. Wow, it's amazing they're short in clubs because they, they also only have two spades. Uh, so yeah, we're going to play this. It seems like we're getting a bad break, uh, in diamonds possibly. Uh, in fact, it feels exactly like that's what's happening. Uh, okay. Yep. There it is. <laughs> Shocker. Okay. So now we can actually draw some Trump by playing that card, but here I'm going to play this and then I'm just going to put this on the table and there's a little Trump draw. And we're going to slide back over here. And now where well, they're going to rough low. Okay. Sorry, did, did I miscount some Trump here? Yeah, I must have. All right, we'll take it. 75%. See, sometimes you don't even have to count perfectly. If you just kind of figure out the way the cards are going, you're either losing more tricks or you're not. <laughs> so so here, uh, good contract for us. Two no in the East. How'd you get into bid two no? You overcalled two clubs. Okay. Well, whatever. Uh, so... Again, not a fan, folks. If you had a 4-4 four, four hard fit, you just are in a terrible spot compared to the rest of them. And honestly, bidding uh, normally gets you to three diamonds. And if you if you make it, you're doing great. right? So here, did well to kind of pick off that we were getting a bad diamond break. And then the rest of the hand worked out for us. So plus 110, 75. Up to third place. We're doing it. Are we doing it? I don't know. I don't know. All right, one heart. 5-5. Five, five. Always your higher ranking suit no matter what. I don't have a quite good enough to game force here. Uh, so I'm going to bid two clubs. My partner bids two no. Is three clubs forcing? It's not forcing. So I'm just going to bid three no Trump, folks. No messing around here. I don't want to miss a game. Uh, I'd like to be able to, to show my shape if it's necessary. I just don't think it ever is in these spots, especially because it's, it's another best hand type thing. Uh, all right, partner has a very nice filler hand, right? We have good cards for each of our suits. Let's get back to business. So we had we had a, a big day at some point in this challenge where we were all playing no trump contracts. We're back at it. What's our winner number? What are we looking at? In fact, let me I'll play the first trick. All right. So what's our winner number now? They just won the ace of diamonds. I see eight, right? I see eight winners, one diamond now, one club, three hearts, three spades. So not bad, right? Where are our extra tricks going to come from? Uh, 
Yeah, so it's it's an answer that could be a lot of places. If hearts break 3-3, three, three, we're just going to take two extra heart tricks without any extra work. If the king of clubs is on side, we could potentially take four extra club tricks if it's also a 3-3 three, three situation. Uh, but the problem is the robots have gotten off to their perfect choice of leads, right? So we're going to need to make a decision on where to go initially. Because the other part of this is if we try to see what's going on in hearts, let's say we we play the ace, the king, the queen of hearts, and they don't break 3-3, three, three, and we haven't taken a club finesse yet, now we might lose that and then hearts and diamonds. So we're, we're in a really interesting spot. Um, the last trick was diamond, and we didn't see the 10, right? So here the ace is gone, the queen is getting played, and the jack and 10 are left. So if I play the king, I'm just promoting diamonds anyway. And my question is, though, what, what do I throw away from dummy? And also, <laughs> if I don't play the king, I'm going to have to make two pitches from the dummy, and that just might be compressing tricks for our side. So here, I'm going to win the king. I'd love to see the 10 or the jack get played right now. That would be beautiful. And, and here, I'm going to throw a club. Uh, now, I let me ask you this. What do you think the percentage is of a 3-3 break and when you have seven in a suit and then what's the percentage of a finesse for the king yeah so 3-3 three, three is like 40 percent maybe something like that and a and a normal finesse is 50 percent. so i'm going to take a club finesse right now i'm going to hope it wins and if it doesn't, I'm really going to hope hearts aren't 3-3. Three, three. All right, so now that was lovely. So that won. So we're going to play a heart to the queen. There's our transportation. And we're going to play a club back to the queen. All right, and now we're really hoping clubs weren't 3-3. Three, three. Do not. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Ooh, and they pitched a spade, folks. That is lovely as well. Ace of hearts. We're going to see if hearts are 3-3 three, three now. King of hearts. One time. Heart, heart. Uh, oh, they both pitched spades, though. Really nice for us. King of spades, spade to the hand. Let's hope they just break well for us here. There it goes, scooper duper. All right, there's a club that was a winner, and there's a diamond that's a winner for them as well. Whoa, hundo in the books, amazing. How did we do that? Uh, let's see where we get up to. Oh, we're in first. Wow. Oh yeah, we did it. How did we do it? How did we do it? 3 no Trump. Did I do anything weird in the auction? I don't think so, right? This person, so they, they kept bidding clubs and then partner bit some hearts. Okay, and this person was just in three. Um, wow, I, I like it, right? I guess we just guessed uh, correctly here. And also, their, their pitching of spades was just bad stuff. Uh, this shows you uh, it, it's important to count your winners initially because it can lead you to the, just the right play. Right when I when I count my winners and I'm at, I'm at that number, the club suit makes way more sense, and then I can fall back on hearts and or spades for my extra trick. Right, so you take your biggest bang for your buck, and then you have ways to get back to it. But man, a hundred, I'm in, I'm in for this. One more board to maintain our hold on victory, and wow, <laughs> that's 22 points, and our partner opened a club, so we're definitely playing six. The question is, are we going to play seven? And we're going to take our time to answer that. Just going to bid a heart here. Two clubs, great. Make another forcing bid. Two diamonds, perfecto. Three diamonds, okay. This is amazing. So partner has twice rebidable clubs and diamonds. So they're like six four or maybe six three, something like that. Um, and we are going to key card in diamonds because now we get to find out about the aces and the king and queen of diamonds, which are really useful and pieces of information for us. So four no trump, two with the queen. So here's what we're looking at. We have how many key cards, folks? In diamonds. Remember, we bid four no trump, and the robot took this as blackwood and diamonds. So they said, I have two key cards with the queen. So what does that mean? Uh, that's not a six. <laughs> with the queen. All right, we have exactly two key cards. So it means we have four with the queen, which means we have enough to play six no trump. All right, we're not going to play diamonds ever, 
We were looking to play in six or seven. We're missing a key card, so we're just going to play six. If it's the Ace of Spades, we have solid diamonds. If we're missing a diamond, we have set upable diamonds, which is exactly what's happening here. Uh, it's going to be super easy to play, folks. We're going to knock out the Ace of Diamonds. We're going to maintain some piece of communication, which we will always have. Uh, so here, just a diamond to the king. And that is it, folks. That should be a win for us. Trying to lead a heart. Well, we have a lot of tricks, my people. All right, let's see where we're at. 64.3. I don't think you can do any better than 1440 on this. Let's ship it. Ship the victory. Ship it. Show it. Yes. Ooh, very close. Very close. And we knew this player. This player had some big, big results here. So we just pipped them at the end with that one extra trick and three no on board 11. And then, uh, well, board 12, honestly, here's the deal. Remember, when, when your partner opens the bidding always, you're usually asking yourself, do we have enough points for game? Um, here, that answer is not just, I mean, you had enough points for game almost with partner not opening at all. But now when they open the bidding, 22 plus 12 is 34. You bid at least six. And if you get a chance to take on some extra information, namely, hey, we can find out about the king, queen of diamonds, and I have jack fourth. Let's go, right? You know your destination is at least six no trump usually unless you find your major suit fit. And we didn't find our major suit fit on this last one, folks, because there our partner could have bid two hearts, right? So so we know we don't have a heart fit, so it's time to play six no or seven no trump if that's in the mix. Uh, really happy about this one, especially because, my God, embarrassingly bad defense on board eight. Uh, I'm glad you got to see it, though. I'm, I mean, we're all pretty terrible. Even the best players in the world will admit that when it comes to being perfect at bridge, we all are just terrible at that, right? We're, we're, we're making mistakes constantly. I mean, rarely as dumb as I just made on that one board, but you never know, right? We're all capable of that sort of <laughs> badness. Uh, but I, I hope that helps you understand that we're all in this ship together. And uh, I'll see you for another cruise next week, folks. Thanks a lot for watching. And... Great victory this time. Very happy about it. Take care, everybody.